You know something, I just came back from Lidl and I seen like these two black brothers, they're young. Um, and I guess they're the reason why for this little like whatever we, whatever we can call this. I guess it's courtesy of them. Yeah. So basically I seen them a little and no, no it's not really about them but there's a thing called the black note, right? Everybody knows the black note. You see another black brother? Respect. Yes, Empress, you know? But there's also like a 50% of the black population who see you and they do everything in their power. I mean, everything in their power to avoid eye contact. Like, do you be standing right by them and you know you can feel the energy that they're making such an effort not to look or acknowledge you for whatever reason. And these guys, I just put it down to insecurity. Uh, maybe they're so insecure, or maybe they've said hello to people before and they've been snubbed, or they just got something missing in their souls, which makes them feel safer living their life like that. It's not a bad thing, you know, but it's a part of the problem, you know. Um, because some of them, when you actually talk to them, or if you tap them or something, and then, oh, hi, hi, they're actually nice people. It's just that they, maybe that day they don't really want that kind of extra gym, mental gymnastics. They don't want to have to deal with that extra bit of socialization on that day, and that's fair. But there's some people who generally don't want to acknowledge or generally don't want to deal with other black people. And that's okay, but that's also a bit weird because we're in a stage where we're all seemingly under attack. So we need to bound, come together as a people to support each other. And you can't love every black person. And every black person is not for the black struggle. So that being said, it's just interesting to see that. Because these guys in Lido, it's a thing where they did the same thing, trying their hardest not to acknowledge man as I was standing beside them. And then almost jumping the queue. And then they realized that because they didn't want to look that way, they didn't realize that there was a queue behind them. So it just made, it just made them, I don't know. It's just, to me, before I would have taken offense to it or I'd have gotten like all sorts of demons in my mind and showing them that, listen, if you fuck with me, you know, all this unnecessary stuff. But I thank God that I'm in a place where even regardless of race or whatever, I can look at issues for what they are and I don't need to kick off or I don't need to get take things personally. I can just appreciate where everybody is and if there's a cause for us to say hello or interact, then we interact. And if there isn't, then each to their own, innit?